What were uh, Finley's hallmarks as a young wrestler? Like we just saw him wrestle. Like what? what well, first, what the it? first time I saw him wrestle on tape, I'm, I'm just like, he's in a different league to everybody else. And and I, and I still think that uh, uh, he was just so good and so his his movement quality. And then we've talked about wrestling like uh, Terry Rudge t- told me that wrestlers should wrestle. Good wrestlers wrestle like a big cat. He was so much like a tiger that it, 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 it's just brilliant at what, what he did. So that was my, around this time, which would have been around 1980. Again, this is three years before I've even stepped. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a, what would, will I be 12 then? I'm 12. I'm watching Dave Fit Finley. Then I watch. Dave Fit Finley start to come into his own. So not only is he he's on a lot, he's on TV again, not that much, but I'm also yeah. seeing him every two weeks at my local. Also, it, oh, it makes, so you're you, you're seeing him live as well as the as well. So I'm seeing him a lot, a lot. But the way they structured it, it, it seemed like he was on a lot at the time. And he, and he, he was he, six times a year is actually. Uh, you know, it, 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 time goes by so quick off. If he was on whatever amount of time, there's not, he wasn't on that much. It was, but he'd be on at least once, you know, every two months. With the announcers, and, you, you mentioned earlier that whenever there were two cruiserweights talking or wrestling, they would talk about Johnny Saint. Would, uh, would two, two lightweights wrestling, right? Because uh, Johnny Saint like, was the lightweight world champion. Then there was the middleweights. Then there was the, the, heavy middleweights and then there was the, the light heavyweights and then there were heavyweights. So whenever they were talking, whoever was wrestling of that weight class, they'd be mentioning other names. That's so what I was getting it, at. Would, it, it, would they be it, in so the mind? Of the well, yes. Whether there. you knew it or not, you were getting I'd love to people. see him take on so-and-so one day. Yes. Like yes. Okay. And oh, if it, the winner of this will be, have a chance to fight Johnny Saints or the winner of this match between Dave, uh, Dave Fit Finley and Davey Boy Smith will get a chance to wrestle Marty Jones. And those divisions you mentioned, were they strict like boxing divisions where there was no crossover? Very little crossover between There was crossover and it was called a catch weight match. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. When you you when you would have people from different weight classes wrestle each other. Was that a special then, feature? Was that something that people would It wasn't a special feature. It was okay. just it was put on. And then you'll find if you ever listen, that constantly Kent Walton was talking about Wow, this man's giving away. We 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 weigh ourselves in stones in England, which right. is uh, one stone is fourteen pounds. This man's giving away a stone and a half. This man's giving away two stone, M- making it like, wow, this is a big deal. If if you know, because boxers box each other of the same weight, and right. it was considered in that it was it was con- like a sport in that paradigm right? where the the smaller guy just by default would be the underdog. Yes, okay. so Fit Finley came along. The next thing that I, he's just, every, every time you see him, he's just incredible. Then he started tagging with uh, a, an incredible heavyweight wrestler called Skull Murphy. Now there's an American wrestler called Skull Murphy. There's a British wrestler called Skull Murphy. Skull Murphy used to wrestle, British Skull Murphy used to wrestle um, as bad boy Steve Young. His father, Roy Ball Davis, was a very famous wrestler in his time in the 60s. And Skull Murphy uh, ended up shaving his head. And he looked at the Max Crabtree, the promoter, named him Skull Murphy. Because as Steve Young, he used to wrestle for the opposition promoters. When I say opposition promoters, they were full-time promoters as well. They just didn't have TV. There was so much wrestling in England. It was were those, ridiculous. Were those opposition promoters also under that same loose NWA like no, umbrella? No, so it's, it's, it's what we call like, especially in the eighties, you know, Memphis had, you know, Jarrett and Lawler, but they also had this outlaw promotion with Randy Savage right. that wasn't part yes. of it. And, and it, it would get contentious. Like there would be physical situations among yes. those, those promotions. 